Hey guys, it's Elise and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. Today I'm getting inspired by nature, kind of. I'm getting inspired by flamingos. These guys are trending everywhere. I bought these adorable little candles and I think they were on sale, but at full price, they were $20 for five of them. I thought, you know what? We can do better than this. We can make a fully edible version of our very own gorgeous little flamingo cupcake. <laughs> need to make your flamingo cupcakes. I've got some pink chocolate or some pink candy melts, some dark chocolate or dark candy melts. I've also got my cupcakes which are baked just in little blue cupcake liners and because I wanted to add a little bit more decoration I've got some really cute little decorative cupcake liners as well. I've got some pink pocky, some of my buttercream frosting which I've tinted blue and I'll leave a link to that recipe in the description box below. And I've also made you guys a little printable flamingo template so that you have something to trace around. You'll need to print one of those out. You'll also need some parchment paper, a snap seal bag, some scissors and some toothpicks. Let's get started. These guys are really easy. So I've put my pink candy melts or my dyed pink chocolate into a snap seal bag and I'm going to just cut a nice relatively fine tip because we've got a bit of detail work to do here off one of the corners. You'll need to do these two at a time because you can really only fit two on each piece of parchment or you'll need to use lots of different pieces of parchment. So I'm going to trace around my little flamingo template. I've got the parchment paper over the top of the template and I actually made you guys flamingos with quite thick necks so there's a lot less chance of breaking. Make sure your pocky's at the ready, that's going to be our flamingo's legs. I found it easiest to start at the top of the flamingo's head and to do the whole head and neck and then come down and go over her back across the top section all the way down to the tail and then come back and do kind of the underside of her belly and a couple of little kind of ruffles for under the back here and then just fill it in. Once you've got your general shape, take your candy melt and just one line down across the leg of the template and then in goes one of our pocky. I'm using pink today because obviously our flamingos are pink and these are strawberry. They actually smell amazing and they taste amazing. I'm going to line that pocky up on that line of pink candy milk. So the top of the pocky kind of makes like a thigh on the top of our flamingo. And then I'm just going to cover it in a little bit more, just a little bit more of that pink candy milk. So I'm just going to take a toothpick and just run it down either side which kind of helps make sure that her leg stays nice and thin all the way down and also just defines out that pocky so that it's really nice and straight. Don't worry about wiping away any of that excess candy melt. That can stay there. When these set, you can just snap it off because it'll kind of be divided. For her little beak now, these guys do have a little bit of like orange or yellow on them, but unless you guys want to get into a whole nother color of candy melt, these look just as good with just plain dark chocolate or you could use black candy melt. These are pretty fine, so I'm just going to use a toothpick to make these details. Bit of chocolate on my toothpick and then I'm just going to trace over the basic shape starting up at the top and attaching it. It's really got to attach into that pink candy melt so that it doesn't break off when you pull these off the parchment. And then just using the point to taper down. Finally one little dot for the eye. And now all you need to do is let your flamingo set. Repeat that with as many flamingos as flamingo cupcakes as you'd like to make. Now like I said, I got these little decorative cupcake cases but I never actually bake in these because all the oils from the cupcake kind of make them all marked and gross looking. So I like to bake in a similarly coloured cupcake wrapper and then just pop them in. It seems weird to use too but trust me it looks so much better. Now I've got my frosting as I mentioned blue and I've just paired it with quite a small round open piping tip. Literally any small round open piping tip, there's no exact number, whatever you've got. I'm going to pipe this little small design that kind of looks a little bit, I think, like water. Perfect for our flamingo. So I'm just going to do small little round swirls, just tapering off all the way around the cupcake, starting on the outside. Then I'm going to pipe another one in the middle so I can get some height. And then come around another layer and a final one on top, which kind of gives us that traditional domed cupcake look. Perfect. All of my cupcakes are going to get that watery treatment.
Perfect, let's check if our flamingos are set. I just set these at room temperature, not in the fridge, because the fridge is gonna cause the chocolate to contract and kind of curl up a little bit. And we don't want that for our pretty flamingos. So we'll just see if she's all done. Because we know the next of these guys are fragile, I'm gonna use an offset spatula, or you could use a really sharp knife, and just slide underneath our flamingo, making sure that she comes off really nicely. So where you've slid your toothpick down, it should just break off really nicely on either side. Leaving you with one long, elegant legged flamingo. Just how they should be. All right, I'm gonna tidy up any edges, make sure that it's nice and smooth and straight. And then you just wanna size it up against your cupcake and snap off the excess. So I'm gonna snap off about at the bottom of my pink line, but every cupcake's gonna be a slightly different size. Because we've got our cupcakes in these decorative holders, you may have noticed that my cupcakes only come to about there. I don't want the cupcake to squish down in the holder at all. So I'm gonna support it quite firmly on either side with my fingers to keep the cupcake in place in that liner as I apply the pressure of my little flamingo on top. Perfect. Simple, gorgeous, pink, fun, bright flamingo cupcake. super simple, really fun flamingo cupcake that you guys can make at home and it's not going to cost you $20. I actually think it's going to be cuter because unlike these guys, you can eat these ones from the coffee inside. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do for two new videos every week. And as always guys, thanks very much for watching.